All right, what's up? Um, so we've got the new war map available. Um, we still don't have the um, we still don't have the uh, the new nodes yet. Those I believe will be active next week. Uh, but we do have the new map, which is kind of cool. So I thought it might be nice to um, go in and, and just uh, test a little bit. So. This path is path eight on the right side of the map here. And uh, let's take a look at the node buffs real quick. So um, we're gonna have a passive heal block on this path, which is uh, fairly annoying. Um, and then we're gonna have uh, return policy. That's just basically if you nullify their buffs, they're gonna get a bunch of power. It's kind of like reverse mystic dispersion. And then uh, you're also going to have buff and balance power drain. So that means whenever the defender gains a buff, uh, so like Doc Ock, for example, has his armor that he'll get. Um, whenever the defender gains a, gains a buff, the attacker receives an indefinite power drain debuff. Um, and then, you know, the, the power drain debuffs are removed on the attacker when, um, when I use a special attack. So... Um, so for example, um, I've got Captain Marvel here. I brought Captain Marvel for this void. Let's take a look at the second node and then we can talk about that void real quick. Um, so the second node is, um, is also buff and balance power drain, blood in the water. While the attacker is suffering from a debuff and the plasmas would count as a debuff, I believe. The defender gains a passive fury, granting 200% attack, lasting until all debuffs on the attacker have expired. So that's pretty good placement on Havoc. Um, ultimately, that would be pretty Corvus foodish. But um, okay, so this is this is one of the interesting placements. Node 21, this uh, void here, and I I think that this is going to be a fairly common placement for void uh, with the stubborn defensive tactic on the new map. So you're going to get buff and balance power drain. What that's going to do is um, whenever the defender has a buff, he'll apply a power drain debuff on the attacker, of course, and that debuff will count towards one of Void's uh, unique debuffs. So he'll inflict more damage from that. Um, and then it's also got cold turkey. So this is interesting. Whenever the attacker purifies a debuff, they receive a burst of degeneration damage, dealing 40% attack. So that's going to be 40% of Void's attack. I'm, I'm, I assume that it scales, but I don't know. Maybe it won't scale. But um, so basically, when you when you get to uh, when Void inflicts a debuff on you, and you Pure, uh, when you get to 10 uh, combo charges or each interval of 10 and you get rid of that debuff, that's purifying that debuff. So every time uh, basically you get to a 10 combo against Void on this node, just on any cold turkey node, there's one other on the map, um, then you're going to be inflicted with a 40% uh, degen burst. Um, and that's why I brought Captain Marvel. Um, because Captain Marvel with her uh, binary indestructible, that's her sig ability. Um, she is going to, she's still going to uh, take that degeneration, but she won't take any damage if she's indestructible. So at sig 200, it lasts for 12 seconds. Once she um, yeah, activates binary um, after 20 binary charges. So, what I'm going to try to do is build Captain Marvel up to at least like a 20 combo, or I'm sorry, 20 binary charges. And I'll probably do that on this Havoc fight. Um, let's just make sure again that, uh, that that's a good idea. Buff imbalance, not too worried about that. So I'll be, I'll be losing power um, probably when he gains buffs. And then I'll also, um, he'll be gaining a bunch of additional attack. Um, but I don't foresee any issue with Captain Marvel. Now, one thing is, on this map, they placed with Flow. 
um, which means that um, this Doc Ock is gonna is gonna benefit from flow. So I'm gonna use Doom for that fight, and then I also brought Doom for this Nova on what I believe is gonna be one of the worst nodes in War. Uh, node 37, ebb and flow, intercept. We'll get to that a little bit later. But this is basically uh, Aegis intercept on steroids. So anyway, I don't know. I'm not even sure if we're going to get there um, this off season. At least for this first week, we are not going to uh, use items in war. Uh, we're really just kind of exploring and, and trying to uh, test some stuff. So anyway, I do have full suicides on. I would love to be able to build up Captain Marvel here. You know what? Maybe I should do that. When the defender gains a buff, I'll get a power drain buff. And it's got passive heal block, which means that that power drain debuff is not going to help me with willpower. Um, so I wonder, actually, if I should take off... I'm going to take off... Um, I'm going to take off the bleed suicide. And I know that this is an off-season war. Um, don't really want to be spending units on stuff like that, but I do want to legitimately test this. And because it's got the uh, passive heal block, if I, I just don't want to, I want to legit test Captain Marvel against that void. And in order to do that, I need to remove the bleed, uh, mastery. All right. So courage, I might not need too much in courage actually. Uh, we'll get some of those here in a second. So I'm just going to rebuild my my standard off-season suicides build, um, except I'm going to leave off the bleed debuff or the bleed mastery double edge. Okay, man, that took forever. Unbelievable. Um, okay, let's go into war and let's let's test this out again. So this first one is uh, Doc Ock. I've got buff imbalance, so I'm going to be draining uh, losing power, and um, and I don't have to worry about return policy because I won't be nullifying any of his buffs. Uh, but it also does have flow, so he'll gain. Um, from this. So I'm just going to basically play this straight up. I am going to use Captain Marvel, I decided, because I want to try to build up her binary ignition charges. Um, it's just one last little check here, make sure that I'm not missing anything. Uh, this should be pretty manageable, so let's just, uh, let's go in. At this point, I really want to try to bait his L1. There we go. I'm going to hit him a few times, back off in case flow happens. It doesn't, which is cool. I don't want to activate my binary ignition charges either. So I got to be careful of that. Just want to play this really safely. And holy shit, he is just not throwing his special. This is, I mean, this is crazy. Holy crap. I cannot believe this. Even with flow, man. All right, there's a flow. All right, let's just go for it. All right, so able to finish that with, I think, 22 or 21 or 20 binary charges. 
So that took a while. That made me a little nervous, actually. But, um, all right, so I think I'm going to use Captain Marvel for this uh, Havoc here. Let me just make sure once again that we're fine. Don't have to worry about flow here so I can be a little bit more aggressive. And I would prefer to push him to his L2 because it's uh, much easier to evade. Um, all right, so buff imbalance. I won't really have to worry about that. And the attacker is suffering from a debuff, which I believe Plasma will count towards. So he, so I, he could end up getting a lot of attack rating, but uh, hopefully, hopefully it'll be manageable. Oh. All right, I want to back off. I know I've got my binary ignition charges, and then let's throw this. That should start me in the next fight with 25 of them against that void, which I actually, that might not be the best strategy for that void on 21, especially once Stubborn um, comes into play. I think it might be smarter to try to align the 12 second um, indestructible with with that with like an eight to ten combo against him i've also got fury here as backup so um all right so matador oh that's interesting so i won't gain any power until oh this could be bad actually okay so i'm only at 21 actually so this that's perfect so i won't gain any power until he throws a special uh so this is i mean this is just going to be this is going to be top-notch placement for a void, and people are just going to have to figure out how to deal with it because um, this node seems to be built really for him. Cold turkey, buff imbalance. Yeah, I mean, let's just go in. Let's just see what happens. I would love to push him to a bar of power before I get ignition. All right, so there's that. And I am absolutely smashing him. He got knocked down by a special, so that's not great. I am losing quite a bit of health, but um, I'm gonna, I mean, I'm gonna survive. So I didn't play that very well, obviously, but um, Oh, you know what? We might be able to let's get let's go check out this fury. But anyway, what I was gonna say is I didn't play that very well, but I do think that Captain Marvel is gonna give you a lot of um, a lot of safety net there. All right, so let's check this out. Uh, now this fight is gonna be completely different with uh, with stubborn, which uh, will affect Nick Fury. All right, don't have to worry about flow. Unlimited power for each debuff uh, the defender has suffered since the start of the fight. Every 10 seconds, they activate a permanent fury buff, increasing their attack by 25%. That's pretty crazy. That means that really none of my options, <laughs> um, none of my attackers here are going to be good for this fight. Um, backup recovery, obviously. So Doom is going to shock him. Fury is going to bleed him. And uh, Captain Marvel is going to... Um, she's going to um, armor break him. But I am going to go in here anyway. I just want to uh, play around with this fight. And I'm going to use Captain Marvel here. In, in season, none of these matchups would be worth pursuing. But what I want to do is, is build back up my binary ignition charges. Oh, that's interesting. So he gained all those Furies because... Alright, push him into unblockable range, then I'll bait this out. He gained all those Furies because of his suicides. That's crazy. Oh, 
Oh, shit. All right. I'll have to rewatch that fight, but, I mean, that was played very poorly. And now we've got the, uh, the little issue there. So, okay. Is he, he's at least down, he's not even down to his first, I didn't even get him, uh, killed a life model decoy. But, um, okay, let's see how everybody's doing real quick. Um, Draymond, uh, he's got several charges at this point. I saw a Namor. So that's two charges for that. That was placed uh, right where he's standing. Um, Bryn looking healthy as usual. And then we've got uh, three people who haven't joined who will be going to the left side here to explore a little bit. But um, yeah, so uh, pretty, pretty cool. Um, this is the first time, obviously, that we've seen this map. And we will be messing around. I'll probably do a couple more videos throughout this week, this first week maybe into the second week of the off season or of this uh, new map to, um, to explore some of the fights and uh, to try to test some different interactions. But, um, you know, th this void on node 21 is something that I expect everybody is going to see a lot. And uh, I do think that Captain Marvel movie is going to be, especially with Stubborn, where you can't ghost him. Um, I think that uh, she's going to be probably the top counter there. So anyway, uh, that is it. I just wanted to put together something really quick showing my first fights on the new map. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, leave some likes and comments. Um, if you have any questions or if there are any particular nodes that you guys mess around with um, this war this week that you want me to test um, and share my thoughts on, uh, like different counters and maybe some placements, um, you know, leave those questions in the comments or leave those comments um, down in that section, and uh, I'll I'll certainly read them, and we can kind of see uh, if maybe I can test some stuff for you. So anyway, that's it. I appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next video.